Hey, what up, folks? Graphics Rogue here, and I'm back with another Napoleon online replay for you. Playing an opponent I've played a few times, Zero, Zero, like a fine opponent. But I believe he is more uh, experienced in Napoleon online battles than I am. I don't play it as much as others. I, uh, when I played Napoleon and Empire and Shogun, I never played them with the explicit, uh, with the explicit, um, goal of being good at those games. I only had that goal when I started playing Rome 2. I wanted to be good at it. So I never really became very skilled at these games, so... We'll see uh, just how I turn out... Just how I turn out in this battle. I've played this map a few times now. I'm starting to remember this map and uh, the, the name of it, I think, is the Italian Grassland. Starting to get a little more familiar with the maps. I'm sending ahead my forces. I am playing as Prussia. While well, my enemy plays as France, two power factions, as I hear from these games. I'm not completely sure what all the power factions are, but I hear Prussia and, and France are pretty powerful factions. I'm moving ahead, my musketeers. I'm, I uh, have a goal to just take this hill. First, first goal, I need to take this hill. He's, he's coming for it, but he's walking, so I don't think he has a... Uh, absolute goal of taking the hill but I do I want this hill so I'm I'm trying to move up slowly I don't want to move up and get destroyed so I'm trying to move up piece by piece all my guys in the dif different uh, flanks of the battlefield are my guys no it's wrong wrong side of the battlefield all right I'm moving my guys up here I got my uh, my light infantry and my in the in my line infantry I'm setting up in a defensive positions around this, these uh, corners over here. I'm, slow, I'm finally starting to move up to take this hill. I'm moving up, up over here, and I'm moving some forces up in this area. Try to protect against any flanking maneuvers from their cavalry, any cavalry you may have. I want to first control the forest, the hill, that area, and this uh, foresty gap area. Control this area, then pretty much I control the right because he'll have to go all the way around this area in order to get to me and that's mm, that's never a good way to go. Some people do that but uh, you can usually see him when they're doing that. So yeah he's gonna be doing this, some of that with with, uh, with these cavalry actually but I can see what he's doing so I can I can uh, keep an eye keep an eye on these cavalry and I can make sure I can counter against them as you'll see over here, we've started to lay down some fire. We're laying down fire on each other there. That is a nice image. Yeah, the lines. The lines blasting at each other. That is very cool. And we are finally engaging on the hill here. Hopefully we can take this hill, uh, push them off of it before they start any funny business. And we're also getting some side shots with a few of our infantry units over here. Getting some shots off in the corners of this unit. He's got some units over here. He's wanting to move up, but... I'm trying to keep him at bay. I don't want him to move in too hard. And I'm trying to move these light infantry in position. Trying to get them in a posi better position. These are some of our Prussian cavalry. We're sending him over here to help defend this area from any uh, cavalry advancements. Because I see he's got some cavalry over here. And he's going to want to try to charge in. Maybe flank around my infantry and smack smack me from behind but I'm getting some good shots on off on his infantry here and all over the place actually we looks like we've uh, stood now he actually charged my infantry units he decided to charge my infantry line so they uh, he gave up all pretenses no more that no more of the pussy gun play. he charged my lines with his Polish people his Polish legion charged up against my musketeers and we are engaging the line up here with our light infantry in front and our line infantry behind the light, light infantry. We've got some dragoons over here. Uh, I guess he was planning on going around. He, I, he saw I set up some grenadiers over here to, to greet his, his entrance into, into the backs of my lines. And he said, nope, nope, I'm not going to do that. And he just, he's marching away. He doesn't want any part of that. But we are just holding the line over here, so, uh, re returning fire. But, yeah, over here, it looks like uh, their charge failed. They could not stand up to the glory of my legions, of my musketeers. 
And I guess uh, sending out my general close behind them didn't didn't hurt things. It uh, probably helped win that melee fight. Overall, he's moving up his forces ahead in the woods, but we're getting a lot of shots off on him. No, these guys, we haven't they haven't lost any uh, guard seamen yet. No weird name, but the Polish infantry is uh, d destroyed. We've broken the entire center on the hill, so. Once and for all, officially, we have captured the hill. Huzzah. Huzzah for the glory of Prussia. We sent, we sent our general up here to boost the morale, and we pushed them back. We are still uh, trading shots here in the woods over here. And it seems over here, uh, we, missed the, we missed the cavalry fight, but we did have some glorious battle. I think we beat back their cavalry. Uh, I don't see them anymore, yeah. We, uh, we beat back their, their cavalry, charged at us. We probably sent up some uh, some infantry units to try to help out a little bit, but we beat back their the uh, cavalry charge on the left. Over here on the right, we're doing pretty good. We're uh, we're pushing them back. We're killing a lot of them. We're pushing them back, and now we're pushing our we're pushing our soldiers forward on every part of the line. We're pushing forward, trying to get some shots off, getting some trying to get some shots off on these. Uh, these artillery who are way too close. They're trying to get some shots on my Prussian foot guards, I guess. Oh, let's get up. Boom, cha! I think a lot of that actually hit the hill over here. So that wasn't a very good shot. Our men are running, sir. Oh, no. So, some more of our Prussian lancers getting whooped by his, uh... By someone. French dragoons, yes. Yeah, he's got some French Dragoons left. He's got a few cavalry units left, but for the most part his cavalry was decimated. And we have a lot more infantry to, to protect against any cavalry charges. So we're slowly moving ahead all of our lines. Our enemy is moving back a bit. And we're just... we moved ahead our artillery pieces. And now we're getting some hard shots on his guys. Trying to knock out all his... His, uh... yeah, there's our artillery over here. Trying to knock out all his artillery and all his infantry units. And we are now just laying waste to some of his units here with our uh, with our howitzers. And a lot of his guys got routed and he, and he just had to pull back his forces before they got completely destroyed by the long line. He just, he doesn't have the units anymore to hold this, this long line of advance I got going on. So he had to pull them back and consolidate them in a better position. It's better than uh, having them so stretched out, because he doesn't have enough troops to be so stretched out anymore. But I'm starting to layer on his infantry with my howitzers. He's moving up a few of his infantry units, try to maybe hold the advance from my infantry moving up here. I guess that's what he's doing, or maybe he wants to try to get some sort of flanking action going on on the side here. In any case, I'm the one who gets the, the flanking the action. I send my units over here on this side. And I'm gonna wanna, I'm gonna wanna start peppering the sides of his units over there. And over here, some something happened, some shitty. I'm sure I lost another unit, but deep dub do is what is what it be's about. All right, I'm moving my my guys ahead slowly but surely, and he's uh, moving ahead his whole his whole line forward to meet up with his line infantry he has set up over here. He wants to back them up against this force over here. That's a pretty good move, but then again, I have so much infantry left, and I'm I'm just moving ahead of all my infantry, and I can just easily get all around his corners, get all all over the sides of his corners there. I guess I tried to charge into the backs of his uh, young guard over here. Our men are running. No, no, I charged his artillery, and then I forgot about him, so that made my cavalry uh, get shattered because they got shot by his young guard. But I did knock out his artillery here, so that's enough of his nonsense artillery. Uh, enough of his artillery uh, annoying me. But boom, look at that. Oh, I love that smoke. That, ah, the, the musket horn. Poppity pop 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 I love that. I love that a lot. Oh, this looks so beautiful. This game does this era of warfare so great. Look at that. I love the sounds of the muskets. It's even better in Darth Mod, which I've done a review about. All right, we're trying to we're trying to soften them up as much as they can. They're not going down easy. They are taking a lot of fire 
and giving a lot of fire back. We have a lot of troops and we can surround them, but they are... They're not going down without a fight. Did I even kill his gen- No, he's got his general over here, hidden in the woods. I'm not sure if I noticed this yet at this point or not. But I need to take that general out, try to take out his units quicker. Cause that's why they're- That's why they're hanging out so long. So they see they've already made one of my guys lock. They've already made one of my guys, uh, route. I should move my, uh, my center forces up ahead. Head a little more. Uh, I think I do that a bit later. But I should move these- Should be, uh, paying attention to these forces a little more. Try to move them in, try to box my enemy in a little bit more. I got my general over here, I should've- I should've moved my general over here to try to bolster the morale of these forces. But he is just- He is holding out and he is melting my units. We're finally starting to break some of his units over there. And just finally give them some much-deserved slaughter. Oh boy, that was a nasty shot on these guys. Now, our, our artillery pieces and our infantry units together, we are just devastating what, what forces he has left. He still has a lot of these French seamen. These, these French guard seamen. They look cool, actually. Yeah, look at these guys, they look awesome. Like their little hats and their their drummer boy outfits, and they are hitting hard on the flank of my grenadiers over here. They're not going to last much longer. That's a big fat unit of seamen right there. They're not going to. They're not going to. They're they're going to min, make mince me and my grenadiers pretty soon, and they have. They are running, sir. They are running, sir. I'm surprised how long these guys lasted without uh, succumbing to morale shock and just melting to the morale of everything that's happened around them. There, he moved his cavalry back here. He's trying to get them away from the fight, trying to keep his uh, his general unit alive as long as he can. That is a smart move. I uh, boxed up trying to see if I could catch a few shots on him while he's running through the corner. Not sure if I. Yes, I see what he's doing, and so I'm going to answer him with my general. So I'm going to send my general around. I'm going to send him around here, see if I can strike the back of his general unit, or the center of his, the front of his general unit, and just knock him out once and for all. I have more units in my general unit, so... Or more soldiers in my general unit, so I should be able to deal with them. Oh, they have a lot of units up. I'm not moving these guys up close enough for my uh, musketeers to get enough shots. I should have been moving them up closer, faster, paying attention to what happen what's happening a little more on different parts of the battlefield. So now some of my guys are routing. He, uh, he's been, uh, I'm trying to box him up, but then he seems to box me up at some points, and he starts to route a few of my units. I don't know if they come back or not, they may, but I'm not sure about that. We've uh, engaged with the enemy unit, with the enemy general unit, and we are fighting to the death. Our general unit versus the enemy French unit. We killed the general, sir. Yes. We have killed the wretched general, the swine, the vile swine. The general is no more, and now they're they will continue to take a huge, a huge uh, morale. Uh, crush a morale slaughter, and we're just oh, we're continually slamming them with howitzer shots. They cannot take much more of that. At this point, the game is over, and we uh, my enemy concedes defeat. It says good game, but we just play it out because I don't like it. Neither of us likes it when a a player just pops out before the battle is over. Well, he still got some units. I like it when we just we need to just play the battle out, let it let it end naturally. Not just, uh, quit by the game standards. But he is running. He is, a. Uh, he's very tired, his units. All of our units are pretty much very tired, and I should have been moving them up more. Why wasn't I doing that? I just got some units over here. Uh, yeah, I, these are, uh, routed units that I didn't know came back. I am focusing on moving some of these units, and finally starting to move these units a little more. I need to chase them down. And just uh, bring them down once for all. I'm gonna fast forward some of this. The men are fatigued, sir. Unfortunately, fast forwarding on my PC isn't isn't very good because it's such a shitty PC, apparently. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. 
you know, fast forwarding isn't as fast as other as other uh, PCs and other games other gamers Now yeah, we're just trying to get some soldiers on this side try to get some uh, swing a few soldiers around this side they're trying to make a final stand in this little uh, foresty area this brushy foresty area trying to make a final stand see if they can hold out once and for all but we're just gonna come swinging from there and from there and we're just gonna smash them up there's not much left the the Frenchman can do to stop my glorious glory my glorious glory is beyond glory it's gloriously it's gloriously so I don't, I don't even know So we're, we're still uh, we're engaging some back and forth between these light infantry and the enemy. He's trying to pull back now because he's getting shot at. He's only got 38 men left. They are very tired. A lot of people get very tired pretty easily in this game. I notice. I feel like it's it's faster than Rome 2. I feel like the fatigue is faster and harder than Rome 2. I think I forgot about these units. I forgot all about them and I wanted to swing around and surround these Volgares and I forgot there were units in the forest here. So he began just to take pot shots on the sides of my units over here. So that was good for him but still I outnumber him a million to one. He's still got some young guard, some old guard. I think he's got some delicious French seamen over here. Got, uh, got some all French semen all over the battlefield. It's pretty good. So he's just smacking the backs of my units here, and I don't even notice because I'm. I got my mind to try and I'm trying to finish this a hole off, and now he's smacking the backs of these guys, and I should have been paying attention over here. Uh, come on. Running, we are turning around, but some of us are running. Oh, they're already broken. That grenadier. I see this, and I'm, I'm just starting to turn my forces around, get into better position. See if we can put the final, the final finishing blow on these guys. These guys weren't now. Yeah, they're broken. Man, these guys have broken a lot of my units at near the end. They're uh, they're routing. They couldn't take it. They these guys held out a long time. These last few units they had, they held out a long time, and they took a lot of units with them. They're still holding out. They're holding out in that, in that forest. They're using the trees as cover. Pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the trees protect you from bullet fire. They're holding out. These last few units, they're killing it. Is I thought the morale hit. I'm gonna try to skip it a little bit. It's kind of dragging out. I love the epicness, but it does drag out a little bit, a little bit too much. I thought the morale would have just made these made these guys run run for the hills just just on account of how many motherfucking teammates just army mates they lost you know they they held in pop 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 these french know how to hold the line but they will soon fall as all french dogs do mm -hmm. And they will know the power of Prussia. They're just they're just trading shots. Pop pop pop. Come on, let's let's get our guys in there and finally put it into these Frenchies. Come on, come on, boys. We're finally starting to get some of these to, some of these guys to brout, and they're just pulling back. They're not giving up so easy. They're just pulling back, trying to get a better a better position in that in that that foresty area they are they are holding they are hard these old guard they are killing it their old guard run over the bodies of their semen brethren they run over the semen oh yeah they're going out for a last ditch uh, glory charge that's what they did but they didn't get very far they didn't get very far in that glory charge before they were just driven back no we must run oh, no. and that is it the battle is won. That was long and drawn out. I do love the long drawn out stuff, but uh, yeah, sometimes it can get a little too long and a little too long and a little too drawn out. But it's still awesome nonetheless. That was a fine battle, fine, fine battle from a fine opponent. I feel like if he had, uh, I don't know. 
I'm not I'm not uh, intimately familiar with the the tactics you're supposed to use Napoleon so I'm not exactly sure what he could have done better all I know is ever since I learned that putting light infantry in front of line infantry it makes things a lot better it make it makes things a lot easier in battles it's a uh, I that's a thing you're supposed to do I think ever since I learned that it makes battles a lot easier and multiplayer and against all online opponents which I just haven't been doing in the past like that so that is the only advice I really have but line put the light infantry in front of the line infantry boom shakalaka and old guard and French seamen are very good it's very good to mix your old guard with your French seamen and your young guard it's very very good very tasty I'm your graphics rogue and I will see you next time peace